Hello MechWarriors, how's it going? And welcome to another episode of MechWarrior Online where we are shredding our enemies today. A lot of you people have the Huntsman Prime now because of the last event and I wanted to show you a build that is actually one of my favorites on the Huntsman. It includes, as you can see, two ATM-12s as well as a tag on top of four ER micro lasers. The rest is just a bit of heat management and ammunition and I'm aiming for round about, round about three tons of ammo per 12 tubes here. So I have five and a half so it's kind of, I would say, on the edge. But um, in general, it is a very fun build to play because the Alpha Strike damage is just great. The two ADM-12s um, combined, it give us, I think, 72 damage points, if I did the math correctly, uh, if you are in the three uh, damage bracket, so in the close range bracket. And as you can see on the damage diagram there, there's kind of those steps and you deal three damage uh, very, very close to your enemies, two damage in the mid range and one damage per missile at long range. And there's that little gap that means that ben beneath 120 meters, you don't deal any damage. So it's a very skillful mech and skillful build because you really need to juggle the distance of being close, but not too close, but also not too far away if you really want to get the damage out. The micro lasers are helping us with a bit of extra damage when we are getting pushed and we can maybe overpower our enemies because they're already so damaged. I mean, they deal 2.4 damage. So you roughly have 10 damage coming from those micro lasers. It's not much, but it might be the difference of life and death. The rest, as you can see, is just heat management. And the cool thing about our Huntsman here is that it has high hard points on the shoulders, which means the ATMs that have a very low trajectory, they will come from above. And speaking from above, uh, we have a lot of jump jets here. We have running five jump jets, which means we can propel ourselves into the air, shoot from above, fall back to cover. And this is where our tag comes in handy because it shortens the lock on time a lot. And we only want to expose ourselves like two, three seconds. This here really helps with that. So we get our locks, we're going to fall down after we have shot and we are safe again. And it's a very active mech and I love to play that thing. Let me take a look at the skills. Oh, by the way, little disclaimer, I'm using the P variant here, but you can do it on the Prime by just swapping the hard points. You don't need the P variant to do that because it's an Omni mech. You can just swap the shoulders and the arms to your liking. In terms of skills here, we have a good chunk of firepower because the mech is not even that threatened of getting too much return fire because the pop tart nature. We are just exposing ourselves, as I was saying, a very brief amount of time. Therefore, we can dump a lot of points into our offensive skills. And I was going for a good chunk of heat gen cooldown and of course the uh, high explosives and missile racks and missile spread nodes because we are basically a missile mech. I'm gonna skip the laser duration completely because four micro lasers are not worth it. However, we got the left side of the survivability tree with lots of armor hardening nodes that gives us a bit of a baseline stability and baseline uh, defense here. I'm also going for a maximum cool run so we get one, two, three, four, five nodes here. Those are important and we got some additional heat containment whenever available. I also went for rated deprivation. This is kind of key for this kind of build. And um, I also wanted to target decay at the very least three nodes. We got one, two, three down here because that helps when enemies are in cover. And they will be in cover because you only have, again, that very brief window of actually seeing your enemies. After that, you will fall back to cover, break line of sight yourself, and then you want the missiles to still travel to your target. This is why I usually um, um, advise you to get this here as the first nodes ever. Okay, so take target decay, take the rate of deprivation, and then skill out the other nodes. We also have a UAV that helps us with getting passive locks, as well as uh, two cool shots to keep the mech cold. And that is the build, everybody. I wish you all a lot of fun in the two games that are coming now. And as always, if you have that, then don't forget to leave a rating. I mean it. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And now it's time to hit the battlefield. All right, first game of the day. We are playing Assault on the Canyon Network. And ideally, I want to really push over to Echo 4 as quickly as possible. Because I want to get the, the usual sniper spot contested. I want to get there and uh, I want to be in the trench and, and jump up and shoot my missiles and then fall back and uh, do so on. So let's check it out if I can do it. I will be very aggressive. It might be my death already, but um, maybe, maybe it's not. And therefore, we're gonna... Oh, hello. Hello. Got some damage in. And I mean, they know, right? Hello. That mad dog. Right, we got some damage on the mad dog. Uh, I will push Echo 4 hard. Let's see. I'm um, just telling my friends what I am about to do. So that they might follow up. Uh, I might get some... I might get some help here. Lots of lerms. No, lots of streaks they have there. Interesting. Hi, mad dog. One more shot. Uh, it will probably hit, yeah, it will probably hit the ground, but that's okay. So, the Mad Dog is back in cover, that's okay. And as I was saying, I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna push that, and my friends are coming. So, hi. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> Alright, I need help here. I can only hit the guy in the back. 
But we have some friends here. He knows. He knows that he can underrun me. But he knows that he can also die because we have, again, the friends here. So good. Get the Arctic Wolf. He's one shot. All right. I'm going to get him then. Absolutely worth it. Uh, we're gonna, uh, we have invested a bit of our, a bit of our armor, but again, it was absolutely freaking lootly worth it. So, now we're gonna take it a bit slower, or actually, do we? No, we have a cicada right in front of us, and that guy needs killing. And he's gonna be down, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> okay, next up is the PPC Grasshopper. I just wanna give him the missile warning, and I wanna find out, figure out where my friend the Huntsman is. Urban mech while we are doing it, right? Yeah, let's go. There's the Huntsman. Not the Huntsman, the, the Mad Dog, right in front of us. Um, yeah, there he is. And we are in optimal range. Look at how the damage is coming through, man. It's absolutely insane how much we can shred the enemy's armor with that. Uh, there's another guy right next to me, but I want to stay on the Warhammer. Gonna get some elevation here. Gonna bring also my UAV. And now we're gonna go for those guys. Sun Spooder. He's running LRMs and SRMs. Jumping up. Getting elevation, and now we're actually... Nah, this is not a good spot here. Uh, we're actually just killing those dudes. It's crazy. And do we get another kill here? I really want to. Ah, that was close. Yeah, somebody else got him. Five and zero, and that's what I mean. Again, guys, don't let the enemies get that high ground sniper spot. You can just contest it if you have the aggression to do so. And you can see where this is going, right? Alrighty, so now back to the center. The fight in the center is actually unfolding. We could try to help out by counter NASCARing. I want to do that. Let's go. Um, this is going to be a bit of a risky situation here. I might get pushed because my people are kind of pushing into that right side direction. I'm going to try to intercept here by being on the other side of the battlefield. I mean, we are 7 and 1. We can do some risky maneuvers, no problem. And jump up. And that's a lot of people back there. Hi, man. What are you? You are... You are shooting my legs, which is not that great. <laughs> and you are back in cover. Yeah, you can see here the low velocity of our ATMs make it so that this guy can easily dodge it. If he dodges it. If not, then we're gonna keep shooting. 100%. Alright, so. 7 and 2. Enemy right next to us. It's a Stormcrow. And it's in perfect range. It's a Street Crow, though. Ooh, we need to take him out quickly. Before he can get us. Mm, he's on another target right now. Is he gonna come around? Probably. Uh, I mean, 200 meters is good here. He's coming closer, though. 120 is what we need. Man, that's so much damage. His back is so open. One more. Yeah! And that's all of his weapons down, basically. We are st still 7 and 2, so the fight on the other side of the battlefield kind of unfolds very, very slowly. Let's get him. Why not? <laughs> 9 and 2. One assault mech left, as well as something else there. That's an LB-10 Banshee. Oh, and now we're out of missiles. We actually used up all of our missiles, which is insane. Alrighty, guys. Let's use the micros then. <laughs> In we go. 163 meters is our optimal fighting distance. We're gonna try to get it. And... Oh, sorry. Micros for the win? Ah, no. We didn't get it. But anyway, guys. Aggressive ATM play. It is so much fun. Especially on a mobile mech like this here, Huntsman. Let's take a look at the end score here before we dive into the next game. We have a 12 and 2 situation here. We dealt 814 damage. We got 2 killing blows, 3 kill most damage dealt. 9 assists, 200 taken, 7 components destroyed. That's a lot, guys. Let's go over to the next one and see how this will go down. Alright. Second game of the day. We are playing uh, the Termaline Desert. We are playing uh, Sold. And, uh, yeah. My, my friends here, um, the Stone Falcon, Jay-Z and MD, uh, those guys, you know, 2 to 8. They're, they're good. They're, they know what they're doing. Um, they are um, very interested in pushing very, very early. So, um, let's see if we can support them somehow. Not by jumping around so much, because it slows us down. We want to go over to Echo 5 as quickly as possible because, again, they might need some help there. Let's check it out. There's a guy. Hello, Flea. Oh, we have a Stealth Flea in Fox 6. Um, on the battlefield, basically. Do have over here? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. You want to go for the assaults, and we're gonna help you out with some advanced tactical missiles. Nothing here. So far, so good. Uh, we are making a pretty wide berth around all of... Ow. All of that. Grasshopper. Hello. Get some. Alright. Gonna jump up again. I don't have enough jump juice. That's bad. And, um, yeah, we're gonna continue our stride towards the right side, because this is where we want to catch those buddies here. It's an LRM some spoiler. Okay. I'm also kind of stuck right now, but that's okay. Hello. Get some missiles. 
Uh, get some lasers, get some everything. Ooh, here comes the cavalry, guys. A little bit too early, right? Yeah, a little bit too early. So, wh what about those guys? Can we kill them? We're gonna shoot them. Take them off here. Got him. That's a kill. So, yeah, those guys are completely pinned because of the long range that's coming from the outskirts. Um, oh, 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 ECM. Yeah, that's a problem. We gotta stay away from him. Um, unless we can kill him. Mm, beautiful. That, that is perfect here. So, 120, he cannot go anywhere. We're gonna just quickly kill him. Quickly? There we go. Got him. Perfect. Two kills in our books. I'm gonna try to get uh, away from those pop parts, though, because they're gonna be a problem. Uh, Nova, is he running AMS? Just gonna check real quick. He's not running AMS, so that's perfect. Cool. So, next up, Reufelmann. Oh boy. Oh, he doesn't know what's coming. Beautiful. So, you're saying I should come back? I'm gonna come back then. The Highlander is a very good target. We will probably take some leg damage here. But the missile warning should have maybe freaked him out a little bit. Let's see. I'm in his back. Is beautiful. Side torso down. Side torso down. Perfect. Uh, he's down to two ultra tens, but they are still dangerous. So let's go ahead, pop the cool shot, get him quickly, because we need to we need to make some way here. We definitely need to get the kills quickly. And down. Nope. Now. Okay. Cool. So next up on the quick draw. Uh, MRM's there. Okay. I hope. Okay. 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 I hope that I can dodge most of the firepower that's coming from Mr. Huntsman there. Oh, and then there is there is my friend, the other guy that's called uh, Grasshopper. Sure. Uh, shot on the back, shot on the arm. Cool. He's lagged. It's beautiful. Uh, that means we're gonna not go for him. Ah, come on. Ah, oh, man. That's gonna hurt on the legs. All right, we're gonna turn around, get the quick draw, and still keep our stride. I love this. So, it's a very cool dynamic here. We can always jump up very briefly. We can shoot from above, like that. And we probably will also hit him. Perfect. Component destroyed. Now the Huntsman here. He's one shot. Micro lasers actually for the win. There's another guy behind it, though. It might be the Grasshopper. Delta 5, I saw a spot a second ago. It is the Grasshopper, in fact. And we will go for him. Hello. Don't be in 100 and... Yeah, that's fine. 120, again, is our minimum range. So, we're gonna go for that guy in optimal range and he was down perfect wow this game is so beautiful i love it 10 and 4 so far um advanced tactical missiles we can use them in a tactical way shooting them at uh, about 600 meters as well so that kind of works and we even hit him so 76 shots left ah down he goes last guy right behind us it's not a stealth flea that guy is dead but it might be another one. Ah, it's a Hellbringer. All right, so let's go for him. I'm gonna try to counter his ECM. Oh, he overheated. That's cheating. <laughs> I can dump fire though. <laughs> he didn't want me to lock onto him. So by shutting the mech down, I wasn't able to really target him. But again, keep in mind, guys, you can't just dump fire your um, ATMs. You don't need to lock on. You just point at the target, and if it's not moving, there's a good chance that you actually get some damage out. Speaking of, we got three killing blows. We got seven assists, three kill most damage dealt, 760 damage done, and six components destroyed. That was your daily dose for today, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, as always, don't forget to leave a rating, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye.